Hi hello and welcome to Dr Ashwin Dental Info. In this video I will be sharing with you a few techniques which you can use to improve your scoring rates. During my preparation I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos just like you are watching mine and I used to pick the better techniques which I can practically apply in my examination and there are lot of videos and all those videos come to one point and i am going to discuss it in six points these six points is the basis of all the videos you can find on youtube almost everything so let's get started the first point is how are you going to approach your exam there are 240 questions how many questions are you going to attend are you going to be on the aggressive side attending more questions or on the defend defensive side where you attend the questions which you know for sure when it comes to neat mds and initiate examinations the greater risk you take the greater reward you get this is the single most rule you must understand because the pattern of exam works like that for example consider you have 240 questions and you have attended 220 questions you are skipping 20 questions the next uh, uh, the skipped uh, 20 questions you can take a risk to attend 10 more questions in that because even if you get three questions correct and get all the other seven questions wrong you still get 5 marks and that 5 marks can even take you 40 or 50 ranks ahead so that's the case so it is better to be slightly aggressive that's the first point and the second most thing is knowing the pattern of your questions and getting familiarized with it basically there are 3 to 4 types of questions like a basic mcq it is straight forward and the second thing will be a sequence based or it can be image based or it can be a calculative question or it can be a distractive question when it is sequence based you get six elements and you have to arrange it in a proper order for these type of questions it is better to have a paper in your hand and write the sequence on your own rather than looking at the option in that way you can get the answer quickly and image based questions it's uh, it's, uh, it's no other way uh, what the mind doesn't know that i cannot see and the calculative questions you must be careful enough not to make any mathematical error and the distractive question is when you get questions like all of the following are nsads except Normally we tend to overlook that that except and kind of, that kind of distractive words and we we tend to get get silly mistakes in such questions and it and it must be avoided. And the third point is knowing where to take the risk. Even if you can omit one option, it is better to attend that question because you have thirty three percent chance of getting that question right. If you can omit two options, definitely go for it. It will definitely reward you. And the fourth point is. HRR1 this is just a continuation of the third point which means to say you have heard it once you have read it once and if you have revi revised it once heard it once read it once and revised it once if you can fulfill two criteria it is better to always attend that question this is a this is a technique which is followed by UPSC aspirants i saw in the in some of those videos uh, during my preparation and i used it as well and it was rewarding and the fifth point is try different ways in your mock exams uh, you must attend many mock exams there is no doubt about it but you must attend different ways you must not be attending and the same pattern every time you attend for one, 180 questions out of 200 and the next time also you attend the same 180 questions it is it's not going to make sense you must attend all the 200 questions at once and then uh, and then on, on the next next mock test you must attend only what you know and you try dif dif different things just like that so that you will know what what kind of performer are you a aggressive performer or a different defensive performer and this is what is the scenario because the the way you perform in your examination will matter the most and trying different ways will give you an idea of what kind of person you are that's the fifth point and the sixth point is very important being at that moment see normally we tend to get carried away by anxiety stress and self doubts uh, see believe me no person writing neat exam is so sure of getting a rank uh, it applies to everyone everyone would accept this they will not be sure that they will get uh, see take take uh, take for an example myself i was not sure whether, whether i will get into 100 or maybe will i get into 1000 that was the question i had in my mind but throwing about everything you just remember that you have 3 hours and 240 questions and if you can click 220 questions it is it is job done and that's the single most thing and being in the moment you look around you realize that you are sitting in the exam hall and it is very important to practice this every time in your mock test see if you are if you are not read for for a week and then you perform suddenly suddenly very well in a mock test it will give you a boost of confidence if you don't perform then you will get you will get to know okay this this week was not so good i have to focus on the next week so don't skip any mock test and being in the moment is very important so that's the sixth point 
and the final point is avoiding silly mistakes and as i told you so uh, silly mistakes normally silly mistakes are considered as vampires uh, or even silent vampires because if you don't recognize them and it's gone so the next video will be on will be on the techniques to avoid the silly mistakes if you find this video useful please give me a like and a subscribe as well i also have my instagram page where i post a lot of flashcards and notes and more posts are yet to come i have given the link of the instagram page in the description below thank you